Let's go to the men's high hurdles. Devin Allen. He hit the over in our over-under bet, Gordon. So I win that one. Uh, I bet hard on the weather. I said it, and the weather helped me out here. 13.22 into a minus 1.2. My, own take, my only takeaway from this is basically that Allen ran like a guy who's a metal favorite. He got the win, and he got the win relatively comfortably. The time... I don't think matters a whole bunch. Traveled halfway across the world and had to deal with not great weather. But he looked, he was in control the entire time. And there were some decent runners in this field, some finalist type runners, and, and he handled them all. Yeah, we said that, you know, Devin Allen was one race away from being the gold medal favorite. Yeah. He's still a race away. He was a race yes. away from being a race away still because 1322 is great and it shows that he is going to medal at Worlds. But, like, in order to beat Grant Holloway, you're going to need to show that you're running 12 nines all the time. So, again, Allen still has a chance to become the gold medal favorite. If he's, is he doing Diamond League in Paris on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. He's on the schedule. He yeah. is. So, that's an opportunity for him to run a 12 nine where we're going to be like, all right, you're a new guy. Or at USA's, Head to head with that, uh, with Grant again to uh, establish him, establish himself as the true gold medal favorite. But right now, right. he's in the medal favorite category, not gold. So. Yeah, and th and that was my distinction too. And he and he ran like it. Yeah, yeah. McLeod scratches. I think McLeod runs. Allen still beats him. He hit. I think he hit six and seven today, both hurdles, and a look to throw off his characteristic strong finish. Right, that's the best part of. Devin Allen's race is those last couple hurdles. And even from the last hurdle to the finish line, he's usually really strong in that part of the race. But yeah, you're right. I wouldn't say, oh, all right. <laughs> it was this race. We need to see this race. And now he's going to beat Grant Holloway for sure. We're still a race away from that. If we get another type of race like this or something that's just inconclusive in Paris, I think we'd enter USA's with Allen being a slight underdog still to Grant Holloway, assuming Holloway runs all three rounds. That's where I'm at with it. This meet didn't really have great sprinting. I mean, the weather was obviously not great. It was downpouring basically when the men's 100 was going on. Women's 200 obviously had a bad field. I mean, if you look at just sprints in general, the 400 wasn't that good. We'll get to Femke Bull later on in the pod. But just in general, it was not a, a sprint showcase out there. In fact, the no. feed went out right before the men's 100. Did you get this signal loss detected sign when the yeah. feed went out during the men's hundred? I did, and it was the worst possible timing. Right? Track meets. <laughs> there's a lot of downtime in track meets, even pro track meets. And you're thinking, all right, or even listen. I love the five thousand, but if it happened on the second and third laps of the five, the one time you don't want it happening is during the final introductions of the hundred or yeah. the two hundred. 